I want to welcome you here for this press briefing about Tare Sita and uh, I wish you a happy new year. Happy new year. Because I haven't seen you since the year started. Um, it's my honor to brief you about uh, Tare Sita and therefore this press briefing is part of our Tare Sita activities as we prepare for the 43rd anniversary. Um, we are doing this because we want you to stimulate the public awareness, encourage discourse, and even give accountability to the nation about the birth, the growth, and uh, continued growth of uh, UPDF. You are already aware that Tarei Sita is a historical annual event that with UPDF celebrates with the Ugandans in a nostalgic way to commemorate the founding of a people's force through patriotic sacrifices beginning with the Fronasa, NRA UPDF, selflessly led by our Commander in Chief, the President of the Republic of Uganda, now. Why we are here is earlier on commemorations until the 24th anniversary, we are always in the barracks. And, uh, but we would call the civilians, a few of them. But we realized they need to subsequently take commemorations out to the people so that we are with them and they with us. And uh, we decided on a rotational, regionali regionalized arrangement. You might have, if I can go a few, um, years back, 2022, we were in Nimbale, Masawa, or Elgon region. Last year, we were in Mbarara, uh, Great Mbarara, and uh, this year, we will be in the Busoga region. So we, we have, since 20, the 25th um, anniversary, we have been going to regions. And I think by now, we have been to all the regions of Uganda. And so this time, we decided on Soga uh, so that we can thank the people of Soga because they are the backbone of our security. And we also want to express solidarity with the people. And uh, symbolically, give back to the population by doing uh, certain uh, activities for the benefit of the population and also reaffirm the strategic link between us and the population. As I have already mentioned, UPDF has already covered all the regions of Uganda ever since we commenced 
regional, uh, regionalization. And our activities are running this year on the theme celebrating the people's struggle for unity, security, and peace for social economic transformation. Why? The people, because nothing done outside the mandate and interest of Ugandans can endure any test whatsoever. I think it was uh, Mao Zedong, yes, Mao Zedong of China, who said that uh, the army is the fish and the people are the ocean or lake, if you want. So um, without the people, it means that there is no lake. And if there is no lake, I don't know whether the fish will survive. So the people, because nothing done outside the mandate and interest of Ugandans can endure in a test. Struggle for unity because united we stand and divided we fall. Now peace and security because human security is attracted by peace and security and economic development can only take place when there is peace and security. So there is a nexus between security and development. All this for social economic transformation because a poverty stricken population is highly vulnerable to predatory influences. While the main guest activities of 2024 shall be carried out in Busoga sub region, UPDF has a busy week which we normally call the Defense Forces Week of such activities throughout the country in all places where our units will be. And during these events, we sacrifice the little at our disposal to remind ourselves and indeed the members of the public that we are with them. The CIMIC activities that we shall be handling during this uh, um, Defense Forces Week, among others, are sin sanitation, uh, civil engineering activities, uh, medical outreach uh, programs of, uh, to include circumcision, uh, eye clinics, and, uh, and so on. Also ideological orientation and mind exchange. All this being a depiction that UPDF is a force which was founded on revolutionary principles. We thus use such occasions as the Defense Forces Week to reaffirm our character as a people's army. About our posture now, I can tell you that since the formation of this uh, force by the revolutionary leader, we have remained an army with a correct ideological foundation that shuns sectarian tendencies while impressing national interests. We have fought out of a revolutionary conviction and always shun any mercenary tendencies of being mere careerists. And we remind ourselves of strict discipline, above all, upholding constitutionalism and the rule of law. We are perhaps the only group of government employees who have ever worked without a salary 
for years at one time while putting our lives in line of death for the safety of our citizens and the country. So UPDF is a resolute on delivering on all our four pillars of our mandate and we are striving to consolidate our drive of building a professional, efficient and effective force with the capabilities and capacity to guarantee the territorial integrity and regional stability and regional stability. I want to tell you that we are com committed to continue perfecting our capabilities of mitigating emergencies, swift, effective response to natural disasters, and providing foundation security in terms of averting or even defeating reactionary political upheavals. As UPDF, we want to assure you that we shall continue to increase our participation in the country's socio-economic transformation. We have, because we have been very busy trying to um, stabilize the country and also participate in regional um, stability interventions, so we have been working on the three main pillars. And obviously, you know that the last one is uh, contributing to national development by being a productive force. We are now engaged in some of these uh, activities. We have delivered public projects, as you can see, at a, a cost, maybe half the cost of what uh, some of these projects would have taken. If some of you have been to Entebbe, you must have seen what we are doing in Entebbe. We are currently involved in uh, construction of health centers on behalf of the Minister of Health, uh, schools, on behalf of the Minister of Education, and uh, I think... Uh, Nambole Stadium. Huh? Nambole Stadium. Nambole Stadium. Nambole Stadium. For those who like football, you must be seeing a change there. We constructed um, an ICT hub for the Minister of uh, ICT here in Nakawa, and we are also now engaged in uh, growing food for ourselves so that uh, we stop buying food. If you go to Kabamba, I think you should organize and they go there and see the number of acres we have opened up to produce food for our troops. And so on the fourth uh, pillar of being a productive force, we have also impact on that. But we are also now aware of the contemporary definition, the definition of security, which is no longer just human security, but also other areas other than just defense and security. And some of these areas are environmental degradation. And we are planning, uh, we have already started planting trees. The CPC is the chief uh, in charge. 
we have so far planted millions of trees and we continue this year to sustain the offensive against environmental insecurity. We thus salute all those who always enthusiastically extend support towards the successful handling of uh, Tare Sita and Defense Forces Week and also towards the overall mandate of the UPDF. Because we think with the people, our work is always easy to accomplish and the general public and all other MDAs of government and the local government leaders and other security agencies, even well-meaning international partners, are part of this success. We remain indebted to your solidarity and we do not take this for granted. I want to say that we will remain committed and remain to be an institution that you can trust. Uh, I think Monitor sometimes back declared that UPDF is the most trusted public institution in Uganda. I'm sure this would be impossible without the rest of the institutions because we don't work in isolation. And as the UPDF, we believe that coming together is the beginning, keeping together is progress, and working together will lead us to success. We want to salute those who have paid the ultimate price for the cause and freedom we now enjoy as we gather here. We also build on these sacrifices to continue professionalizing the army, making fit for purpose. We have done much in terms of human resource infrastructure, equipping and meeting, and uh, we suffice to say that we have accepted the delivered on our mandate as laid down in Article 209 of our Constitution. Delivered on our mandate, and now we are also engaged in productive activities for national development. This stellar record is an outcome of the force being guided by a clear vision and leadership of securing the future and also being quick and willing to learn. The UPDF will remain steadfast in contributing to Uganda's journey for economic and social transformation. And lastly, allow me to thank the people of Uganda for support they have untiringly rendered to the UPDF throughout various stages of development. We will also continue to commit to standing with our motherland through thick and thin. We are a military driven by our own experiences. A full accountability of our people detailing what we have accomplished and what we shall be doing this Tare Sita in Ibugweri and Busoga 